Here the high priest was injured and will be recuperating somewhere for the near future. The church is saying he was cleaning his villa when something fell off a shelf and hit him. But there's also rumors that thieves snuck into the palace and attacked him. If that's true, who could have done it? He's always been there for the people, and everyone looks up to him. What a terrible rumor. Indeed. I want to believe it's just that, a rumor. But it's got the children all frightened. I'm not scared at all! Liar! Sis saw you crying! I'm the one who's not scared at all! If any bad guys show up, I'll handle them! Ooh, scary. I'm sure bad guys won't come near you. Something fell off a shelf? Nice. They're doing a really good job of covering this up. If it got out that the High Priest was murdered, and in the castle of all places, the people would lose faith in the government. Hey, I remember you! I'd never forget someone dressed as weird as you guys. <laughs> You're those traveling misfits! The ones who did that dove act in Logris! Mad Lou's Menagerie, right? It's Moggy Lou's Menagerie! Get it right or pay the price! So, you saw us in Logris? That's right! I was there on Port Zexon business! I really looked forward to seeing you perform, but it never happened. But today's my lucky day. How about performing here in Port Sexton tomorrow? I want to see that sullen girl go coo again. It was hilarious. And that magician's dove trick, too. <laughs> sure, but I'll have you know we don't come cheap. Oh, I've got the money. I'd pay anything to see that again. No. Oh, come on, please. Take a hint. Hey, now, don't be like that. Sorry, friend. Best give it up. Otherwise, my apprentice here might show you a special trick she's been itching to practice. One where she makes you disappear. Ooh, <laughs> that sounds fun. Do it! If you insist. But just a warning, there's no guarantee you'll make it back. Still want to try? Wait, seriously? Seriously. And remember, it's Moggy Lou's Menagerie. See you at our next show. Come, sinner, and repent to your wicked deeds. Are you talking to me, perchance? I am. You look so deeply sinful, I wouldn't even know where to begin. Now confess! Oh, how long have I waited to bear my soul to someone? But I've always lacked the courage. Praise be to the Empyreans who have bestowed upon me this chance today! Ah, your devotion to the Empyreans is most... No! It is you who has captured my devotion, my darling! There's no one else I want but you! What? M me But in service to the Empyreans, I... Hush! I want you to look at me the way I look at you! Hold me, darling! Smother me in your embrace! Uh, I don't... I... I... Those were the kind of lines I read in a romance novel. It wasn't even that exciting a book. I wasted so many hours with that piece of trash. Please, forgive me for not putting myself to better use. Ah! Lying! To a priest! How could you? Oh, no. I meant to confess my sins, but instead my confession was another sin! Forgive me, Father, I've transgressed once more. I don't want to forgive you! Lord Artorius's speech really struck a chord with me. I'm sure everyone else in town feels the same way. Actually... It would be problematic if they don't. Why would you have a problem with that? One word, lady. Business. The ceremony to move the great Empyrean Enomenot is going on now, right? After a speech as moving as that, anyone would want to offer a prayer to the new Empyrean. Which is why I'm selling commemorative chalices. They've just come in from Port Zexon. Oh, Enomenot's blessings are many indeed. Are you decorating the chalices with anything? I'm just about to deliver them to the craftsmen to get them engraved. I just hope all this effort doesn't go to waste. Impossible. This is the perfect opportunity. I guess amateur get it. <laughs> I may not know business, but I know how this story ends. Artorius, this ceremony, all of it. I'll end this by my own hand. Man, I've been feeling really out of it recently. I was much happier when I was drinking sweet, sweet nectar. It suddenly got a lot harder to get. The price shot up 20 times in the black market. I came to the capital hoping it'd be easier to find, but no one's got any. Give it up. It's got vermilion ore in it. What? Vermilion ore? I heard that stuff is crazy addictive. Real bad news. It'll be easier to quit now that it's harder to find. Real sailors don't need that crap, right? Yeah. 
You're right. I don't need nectar. From now on, I'm going to the bar after work. Hey, buddy, thanks for the tip. No way. You managed to get some? Shh, idiot. Not so loud. Behold, the finest drink there is, Ilyanya Red. If Benwick and the others find out we have it, they'll drink the whole thing. Wait, you didn't tell them about it? Of course not. Those guys couldn't care less what they stuff down their gullets as long as it gets the job done. The subtle notes of this exquisite libation would be lost on those louts. Well said. Now I believe some Rucarella cheese would complement this Ilyanya nicely. We'll have to hide the bottle until we can get our hands on some. <laughs> Leave that to me. Wow, talk about oblivious. Go, fully stocked and ready to sail. Great. We set sail the moment the scouts get back. Stay here and be ready to go at a moment's notice. Aye, aye. There's no telling what'll happen at the Empyrean's throne. Be ready for the worst. Is there something worse than being around you, first mate? <laughs> Just be ready. Aye, aye, aye. Anything goes wrong, send a Sylph J, and we'll come running. Be ready for the worst, huh? I gave the boy an apple, too. Aren't I the kindest girl alive? An apple. Would you like one? This time, I want you to crow like a No, thank you. Miss? Are you really planning to bite Artorius? Well, the boy did ask me so sweetly. But you'd have no chance! Are you defying me? Did the old man give you orders? Not at all! Then you're coming with me. If things get too hot, we can run. And if we die, then... That's that! I know! You're a quick one, little Bienfu. But I do hope you'll struggle as long as possible. I need you around for when I'm bored, after all. <laughs>